All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale and review of this um, Kirkland Signature Baguettes. Sadly, I didn't make this video earlier. It says to sell by December 20th, 2023. That's probably about when I bought it because I don't think it was that long ago, but now it's December 26th. All right, so the bread right now is a little bit harder than it was before, but as you can see, $5.99, okay. It's a two pack. All right, ingredients are enriched wheat flour, wheat, which is wheat flour, malted barley flour, niacin, reduced iron, thymine mononitrate, riboflavin, and folic acid. Then there's water, levonin, mononitrate, riboflavin, folic acid. <clears throat> and then there's also water. Wait, <laughs> I read it again. All right, there's water, levonin, uh, and contains 2% or less of durum wheat, sourdough, um, yeast, malt, ascorbic acid, enzymes, and sea salt. Allergen information contains wheat and is produced on equipment that also produces uh, or processes peanuts, tree nuts, and sesame. Consumers with food allergies, please read the ingredient statements carefully. For later use, store bread in freezer in sealed plastic bag. All right, baking oven instructions, remove bread from freezer and thaw. Preheat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, bake loaves directly in oven rack for 15 minutes. Allow bread to cool and serve. All right, I usually don't bake it. I just um, cut pieces and then put it in the air fryer, but you can cook it however you want. Okay, so yeah. All right, it comes with this thing, which to um, open it, you basically, it tells you here, twist and pull. Okay, so you just twist this to tear the paper and then you can pull it apart. All right, also this packaging, as you can see, has all these little holes in it to let air flow through. That's to prevent it from molding. Um, but it does allow the bread to dry out, as you can see. Okay, that's what the bread looks like. And I'm going to take a bite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's like uh, basically sourdough. All right, so I'm going to toast a piece of this or air fry it, and then I'll be back. All right, here it is after air frying it a bit. You can see it turned a little brown on the inside. And you can hear... It's crispy. Okay, let's give it a try. Hmm. Good. This kind of bread would go <clears throat> would go good with some kind of spread, like butter or cheese, or add something to it. But yeah, pretty good. Um, not melt gels to it. Again, you can bake it. Toast it however you want. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this is also goes really well if you're making like a garlic bread kind of thing. Just cut it into like little slices, and then add on some garlic butter stuff. Toast it up or bake it, and yeah, enjoy. See you guys later.